Hello guys, in this video I'm just going to explain how to animate pin or unpin cloth simulation or for any other purpose. In this animation you are seeing that this cloth right just pin for some seconds after that it is unpinning and the cloth is flying from the air. So that is what I'm going to explain. I will create new blender file. So going to new and general and uh, I think it is not in default settings. So load factory settings. Super cool. So this one I'm going to bring it. Y and moving it on the center. Okay. And next thing I'm going to add another mesh. So which also should be in Q. And moving Y. X. Super cool. Now I'm going to create a cloth mesh. For that I'm going to add it add mesh here i need to choose plane so just maximizing it okay and rotate or x so holding shift key i think this is perfect and again moving to top side now I'm going to make this mesh as a cloth. So selecting it, go to edit mode, right click, subdivide. So here you can see this option subdivide. I'm going to increase it. Again, I need to subdivide. Okay, I'm going to make it subdivide. So good. I think this will be good. Okay. Again, going to object mode. Now we need to change this into cloth simulation. So I'm going to make it selecting the object and going to physics properties. Here we need to choose cloth. So once you choose in cloth, right by default settings will be applied. If you want, you can change the settings. So if you want to choose cotton or denim, you can choose it. So I have chosen cotton. Now just simply press the space bar. So it should be fall down because it is in cloth simulation. Selecting the cloth mesh and going to edit mode. And here, right, just simply choose the first one. I'm going to choose the first one. Next, the middle one and the corner. If you want, you can select one more vertex. Whatever we have selected here, right, we are going to create as a group. So you need to press this new, add vertex group. Here I'm going to pin and we need to select, just named it and then click on assign. Once it is assigned right, all this vertex will be assigned to this pin group. So for example, I am going to click on somewhere and if I'm choosing select right, automatically the vertex will be selected. Then we have successfully assigned this vertex points. Okay, and one more I'm going to create it and click somewhere and click on this add vertex group. So here I'm going to make it unpin. For this unpin, right, we need not to select any vertex. Okay, it should be blank, the blank one. Now going to object mode. Okay, for perfect cloth simulations, right, I'm going to create a wind. Even you can remove this. You're going to add force field and wind. So wind is selected G to move and Y or to rotate, super cool, okay, you can increase it, select the wind, going to object properties, so here you can keep up to 2000, okay, just press the space bar for animations, super cool. So add is applied perfectly, but it is not pinning because the vertex group, we have to pin it. For that right, you need to select the object, I mean cloth object, select the mesh and go to physics properties and here you come to shape, here you can pin it. So on the spin group, right, whatever vertex groups you have created that will be displaying here, we need to choose pin. Pin means automatically it will be stick onto that. Now press space bar for animation. 
super cool it's successfully pinning right so now you can add some smooth shade smooth looks like kind of cloth now it's perfectly pinning now i'm going to do the animations escape to stop animation and here right go to modifier select your mesh i mean cloth mesh and go to modifier so here add modifier and here choose vertex weight mix choose this super cool so here vertex group a should be pin which we have created and b we need to create unpin on this vertex set right choose all on mix mode first we need to add because we need to give some animations right so here choose add here click on this animate property for keyframe or simply you can tap i button but i'm going to use this animation keyframe is created here keyframe is created and uh, you can see here also okay. keyframe is created and i'm going to leave it for uh, some seconds okay it should be pinning so here i'm going to unpin it on 50th frame choose the frame here and select your mesh and here i'm going to choose replace and then click on this keyframe so keyframe should be created here automatically it will be unpinned so after 51st frame right it should be unpinned unpin the cloth now i'm going to press the space bar for animation okay but it's still not unpinning because we need to put this vertex weight mix on top of this cloth so i'm going to put this on top of the cloth super cool so now again i'm going to animate it press space bar super super cool it's successfully animating right here i'm going to put this wall as collision so going to physics properties and make it collision so that it will hit it now i'm going to press the space bar okay now you can see this perfect right I think it's perfect. There is some transparency. So for this cloth simulation, right? Click on this cloth. Go to cloth and select the specific properties. Here come to collisions. Need to choose self collisions or you can increase the quality up to 50. Up to 15. So I think this time there will not be any transparency between these objects. Yes, it's fixed. That's it friends. Hope this video is very much helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please put a comments and feedbacks in the video forms. Thank you. Bye and take care.